Good morning and welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. Today we're going to try something a little bit different with our shading and we're going to do this, uh, it's a sun with clouds and it's a little bit uh, difficult to see because I've done, what I've done with the outlines, I've used a white uh, fine line acrylic pen to draw my image onto the rock and uh, you can pick up that uh, how to do that on my rock painting course or on the blog there's some pages about how to draw on rocks but I've used the white this time because I'm not going to use any black outlines on this rock so I'm every second one I'm just going to do white I'm not going to bore you with all the coloring in so I've just showed you these sections here I'm going to color in white and then I'm going to come in I've tried to pick up most of the pastel colors on this one so I'm going to come in and I'm going to color in the sun yellow now yellow is a color that most of you have trouble with and so I, I thought I'd show you what one coat of yellow looks like on a rock because it doesn't look that fantastic Okay, so you can see I'm still doing that one thin layer of yellow and it does look all over the place. It doesn't look even. It's soaking a bit into the rock and you can it looks quite patchy. And that is what it looks like at one layer. But I don't go back. I don't try to keep doing more and more now. That's where it runs into trouble. I just leave that one layer and I'm letting it dry. So the rays of sunshine coming out, I'm just going to colour all of those in yellow. And it's a little bit, you can see the little bit that I just did, I did too much at once and it started lifting the paint up. So I just do that thin layer and I'm just painting out probably about three or four rays in pink. Uh, in pink, in yellow, get your colours right. I'm thinking I'm about to pick up pink. And I'm going to do some some of the rays pink and I'm going to do some of the rays um, possibly aqua or blue. I'll see where I go with that one in a minute. So I'm just sort of alternating every alternating every three and just popping in the pink at the moment. But you can you know look back and have a look at the yellow and you can see it still looks a little bit scratchy but I'll just let that yellow sun dry. I keep going and colouring in all the other colours. So yeah, I'm using Posca. You can use whatever brand you like. I'm just trying to stick to some pastel colours today. Um, and that'll be... This is the light pink. And I used sunshine yellow. Or maybe I used base level yellow. I don't know. Just trying to look at the names while I'm colouring in. Okay, well there's yellow or sunshine yellow and then you can only get the pastel blue in the small one but it's called glacier blue and that's in the 1MR. So that's a pastel colour by Posca as well. And I'll just colour those clouds in with that glacier blue. So that'll go all over this area as well. And again, I'm just painting that one thin layer. I'm not pushing too hard. I don't like to color a lot large areas with these light pens. But what I'm doing is I'm going very lightly. So I feel the pressure, the weight of the pen. And that's, I don't apply any more pressure than that weight. So it's quite a light feeling that I'm doing. So here I've got the aqua and I'll just do in those last rays, um, ray of, sunshine rays, rays of sunshine so you can see where I'm putting them all but I'll come back in and colour that all the way okay. so here we go this is coming into two layers so you can see how the yellow picked up and now I'm just popping those cheeks on with a coral and while they're wet colour them in and while they're wet just give them a dab to give it a nice rosy cheek feel but you can see how well the two layers picked up once I let that first um, coat layer of paint dry 
how well the second coat just absorbed in looks really good. So what I'm going to do with the sunshine is I'm not going to outline it and shade it like I normally do. So I'm doing a thin to thick outline. So you can see in this area I'm going a lot thicker. Then on the other sides it's quite light, lighter and thinner. And I'm using that method as my shading. So instead of doing some smooshing with our brush, I've just done a solid line to act as my shading. There, I'm just going lightly around, trying to make my circle even, as even as you can on a rock, such an uneven surface. But I'm going to use the orange and come out uh, instead of shading. So normally I, I'd get this and I'd sort of smush the paint around and yeah, the orange pen's a bit dirty. I'll just get that working again on Bert. Yeah, so instead of smushing around, we're just going to do solid lines. We might even throw some dot shading in there as well. So on the blog page, you'll see all there is about four different shades of, um, four different ways to shade. And I share the technique of lines, dots. There, I'll just go thicker, it'd be easier. So I'm just using the 3M pen now. With the fine pen, I just have to do about three or four lines to get the thickness I want. Okay. So you can see how I'm thickening up areas on that. And that's what I'm using as my shading. Okay. Just deciding on colours, see where we go. And here I've got, I've, this is the regular colour, so I did use the sunshine yellow to colour the sun. But here I'm using the regular yellow as another way of shading. So I'm using the solid line shading and just using that darker colour. And now we're doing some dotting and the dotting will act as our shading as well. So the thicker you do an area, it will be um, a lot darker in colour, richer in colour and then you space it out to become sparse the further you go away. So that's dots and dashes and how to use them for your shading. And I'm just going to repeat that. So I'm just, you know, over the yellow I took orange. I'm doing a darker blue on top of the, no I'm not, it's an emerald on top of aqua. Getting carried away with my colours here. So basically a darker shade of, of the green that's going on top. You don't have to use the same shades, just use the colours that you've got. Let me look for something to go over the pink. I've got a port wine colour and we'll do that. So see I'm going a little bit closer together in the deeper areas and then going out quite sparse as we get further away. And then on the cloud I'm just using the darker blue to do my outlines. So if you don't have the same colours, if you don't have the light blue and the dark blue, just use anything. Use purple on top of the blue. It all works out perfectly and quite pretty. You can do outlines, you can do some more dots as shading on your clouds. Decide how much of the outlines you want if you want to keep going with outlines. I don't like using too many layers on my rocks, so even though I wanted it to be quite white based, I, um, I didn't want to paint big thick layers of white. The paint pans, good quality paint, they'll always be very opaque, so I went in between with the white instead, so I do have an overall coverage. I'm just going to pop my black. Oop. 
black pen working. I'm just going to pop the only black I'm going to use is to pop the face features in, the eyes and the mouth. But when you don't, if sometimes you just go, oh, this pen. Okay, it's actually the angle that I'm using it. It's really hard to use the angle of the camera and get the angle that the pen wants to work at. In the correct way. So I'm just adding the features on. I've w of course made sure I've waited until the other paint was dry. I'll just get that paint pen working. There we go. Yeah, to get the right angle I almost block the camera view which makes it an easier way to use the pen. But that's going to be our little rays of sunshine. I'm just going to add some highlights now with my white pen and that's absolutely it. So you can see how opaque the colours are and how well they sh show up on the rock. There's no base coats, it's just straight on with two layers. And I would love to see your rays of sunshine. So pop over to our Facebook group and show us what you've created today using the dotting technique. So you'll find us over on Facebook all day today and that's at Reef Rocks Free Workshops. I'll see you there.